and welcome back to my vlog again on minerals and I have my beard tucked into my shirt so you can see there's a reason that I have my 90 for life and I'm Matt 90 for life sims you know um, which we'll get to at the end of this the gimmick shale all right we're back on the uh, colloidal minerals each one of these classifications and if you want to know those look at yesterday's interacts with the others to give colloids their unique qualities the interesting thing about colloids is that they remain heterogeneous, multiphasic, and insoluble at different concentrations as long as a larger number, if not all, of the particles are within the range of sizes of colloids, 1 nanometer to 100 nanometer. The molecular groups or particles of the colloid solute carry a resultant electrical charge, generally the same sign, negative, for all of the particles. A small percentage of these inorganic colloids will pass through the intestine of a living animal or human because a natural chelating process takes place in the gut in the presence of protein-containing food. Inorganic colloidal material which readily passes through filter paper may be separated from dissolved substances, such as starch, sugar, or salt, by placing the mixture of mineral colloid and non-colloid in a parchment shell surrounded by distilled water. The inorganic colloids are too large to pass through the membrane, but the molecules of salt, starch, and sugar, or any other dissolved substance pass readily through the semi-permeable membrane. They separate into individual atoms or very small molecules. This kind of separation process is called dialysis. In the process of digestion, the inorganic minerals in food or supplements soon become inorganic colloids, and as an inorganic colloid, they cannot penetrate the intestinal wall to enter the bloodstream. In the presence of amino acids, a small percentage of the inorganic colloids form chelated minerals and organic colloids, which are able to be dialyzed through the mucous membranes of the intestinal walls into the bloodstream. This bioavailable mineral state is known as a crystalloid. Crystalloids, or organic colloids, readily pass through cell walls, while inorganic colloids are too large. Additionally, we must remember that in the living organism there are other physiological forces at work, notably active transport, which interferes with or modifies the expected osmotic phenomenon. Active transport refers to the act of the intestinal mucosal cell reaching out with a pseudopodium, engulfing and transporting the particle into itself, and then transported into the adjacent bloodstream. In fact, most absorbed food and nutrients are absorbed into the human body by active transport rather than by a passive trip through a semi-permeable membrane. Colloidal mineral supplements and commercial colloids are found in four different forms. One, unprotected colloids are made of bare rock flour. This is the form of inorganic metallic colloid found in the seabed minerals, clays, soils, and glacial milk. This form of inorganic colloid is in fact a metallic mineral and is only available to plants when there is a healthy soil population of bacteria and fungi. Two. The second type of mineral colloid is found in living systems of bacteria, fungi, green plants, food crops, animals, and humans, and is coated by a water-loving, hydrophilic substance, such as gelatin, albumin, albuminoids, or collagen. This coating protects the now organic mineral colloid and allows it to be a crystalloid for absorption, storage, and physiological uses, and thus maximizing its bioavailability up to 98%. Three, the third type of organic mineral colloids has a protective coating of carbon with a molecular chain length of 10 to 20 carbon atoms. This type of colloid is also found in bacteria, fungi, plants, including some forms of petrified wood, animals, and humans, and is thought to be the most stable form of natural organic mineral colloid. The fourth type of mineral colloid is not found in nature, but rather is manufactured industrially by coating the metallic colloid with sulfated castor oil, lipophilic or fat or oil loving, to form commercial detergents. Humic shale, the basis behind 94 life of longevity. Humic shale is a unique source of plant-derived colloidal minerals. Humic shale originated from plants during the Carboniferous era. Those lush tropical plants took up some 77 plus metallic minerals available to them from a fertile soil that had as many as 84 minerals. The ancient soil was so rich with minerals that trees grew as much as 25 feet per year. The great brontosaurus, or thunder lizard, attained a body weight of 140,000 pounds, 70 tons, with a mouth no larger than that of a horse. The ability of the brontosaurus to attain such a bulk with so little a mouth meant he was consuming plants rich with concentrated mineral nutrients. A vo volcanic eruption covered these mineral-rich forests with a thin layer of mud and ash, thick enough to create an airtight vault and dried or desiccated the plants into a deep accumulation of hay plant compost or a pre-coal form. 
but not deep enough or heavy enough to pressurize the dry plant material into coal or oil. In effect, it became a prehistoric compost. The entombed humic shale never fossilized or petrified. In other words, they never became rocks. Just a compressed, dried, prehistoric compost pile that contains a high level of plant-derived colloidal minerals. Humic shale can be used as an excellent soil conditioner for organic gardens, farms, and ranches, as it supplies a rich source of humus and no less than 75 plant-derived colloidal minerals. Humic shale can also be ground into a fine meal and soaked for three to four weeks in filtered spring water. It then provides a high-quality plant-derived colloidal liquid mineral supplement that contains not less than 19,000 milligrams of plant minerals per quart. It takes 78 pounds of humic shale to produce the minerals in one quart of liquid plant minerals. The 78 pounds of humic shale represents approximately 1,034 pounds of lush, prehistoric, green mineral-rich plants. The fluid extract of high-grade humic shale contains no less than 77 plant-derived colloidal minerals and is up to 98% available for animals and humans. In the absence of wood ashes for use in cooking, culinary ashes, to cut table salt and to fertilize the garden, we must supplement with minerals to avoid mineral deficiency diseases including obesity, the feedlot syndrome, diabetes, the metabolic syndrome, arthritis, osteoporosis, periodontal disease, anemia, hypothyroidism, bone spurs, kidney stones, etc. Our experience with literally millions of users tells us that the plant-derived colloidal minerals are an effective replacement for the wood ashes that are no longer available to modern Americans. Failure to consciously replace the lost plant minerals we historically harvested from our cooking and heating fires with colloidal plant minerals, plant-derived colloidal minerals, will be the most catastrophic event in human history. The cost in human misery, death, and increase in medical costs will destroy American society, a goal that eluded our cultural, financial, and political enemies, both foreign and domestic, since 1776. Make it a great day, and bye for now.